Almost all my middle-aged and elderly acquaintances, including me, feel about 25, unless we haven't had our coffee, in which case we feel 107. I like coffee because it gives me the illusion that I might be awake. Coffee is already known to be a preventative factor against mild depression, Parkinson's disease, and colon and rectal cancers. Do Lipton employees take coffee breaks? Drinking a cup of coffee with your eyes closed isn't a sophisticated task for a person, but it's hard for a robot. Even a bad cup of coffee is better than no coffee at all. I like my coffee like I like my women. In a plastic cup, I quit coffee. It won't be easy drinking my Bailey straight but I'll get used to it. It'll still be the best part of waking up. I wake up some mornings and sit and have my coffee and look out at my beautiful garden. And I go, remember how good this is. Because you can lose it. If it wasn't for the coffee, I'd have no identifiable personality whatsoever. My children know not to shout before mummy has warmed herself into something human with her coffee. Never drink black coffee at lunch, it will keep you awake all afternoon. Never trust anyone who doesn't drink coffee. Our culture runs on coffee and gasoline, the first often tasting like the second. Science may never come up with a better office communication system than the coffee break. The smell of fresh made coffee is one of the world's greatest inventions. 300 years ago, during the Age of Enlightenment, the coffee house became the center of innovation. Up to a thousand milligrams of caffeine is considered safe for most people, which translates into about 10 cups of coffee a day. When I wake up in the morning, I just can't get started until I've had that first, piping hot pot of coffee. Oh, I've tried other enemas. You can't have a decent food culture without a decent coffee culture. The two things grow up together.